Pop Different Podcast. I just took away permanent markers from my daughter, so she's having a little bit of a hissy fit. I thought I would talk about rectangle inserts, or prefolds, or whatever you would call this. So this is a kind of common, you only really see it in Canadian brand, cloth diaper insert. And I think we needed to have a little talk about what these are, why these might be the best choice for you, and just about all the different options. So these are made by a variety of different companies. So I have a couple in here. These are like the Apple Cheeks ones. Ooh, that one's stained. I think that one got like a coffee incident with it. There is an AMP version. This one's also AMP. I have a red one too, which is their three layer hemp, but I can't find it. And then Nuggles also makes a variety. Jeff and Baby makes one as well. And I think that's about all of the brands who make this kind of insert. And this kind of insert is different than a prefold. It's kind of like a prefold, but it's not. When you say prefold, what I think of is something like this, where it has a thicker middle section and thin outside section. So a prefold has been prefolded for you so that the majority of the absorbency is in the inside and like that. These are similar but different. They're similar in that they're the same shape as a prefold, but they don't have the thicker multiple layer inside, and in general, you use them differently. So, most of these square prefolds, you would not fold on baby. You could fold them on baby if you want, but in general, most people will just use them as an insert. So, this is an insert which typically an insert is just a rectangular piece of material like this that you add into your diaper. Inserts are small, thin, and they have limited absorbency. Some inserts are really absorbent, but on the most part, they will have seven to nine ounces of absorbency, which is average for a kid, uh, sometimes even less. Inserts like this are better as a booster, so like, this Geffen Baby, I would use as a booster. And these AMP hemp and cotton blends, I would use a booster. And the word booster in cloth diapering lingo means something that you would add to your diaper to make it more absorbent. But we're not talking about boosters, we're not talking about inserts, we're not talking about prefolds today. We're talking about these weird rectangle things. And these weird rectangle things are awesome but they're also more expensive. I would say that these are awesome because for the most part, these are Canadian and American textiles manufactured in Canada and the United States. I would say they're awesome because they are easy to wash and launder. Most of them are two to three layers. So this is a three layer eight apple cheeks of simple fabric. They provide an easier to clean kind of option, an insert that offers a great amount of absorbency. All of these inserts come in different sizes, they come in different ratios, they come in different fabric types, they come in different amounts of layers. So they all offer different amounts of absorbency. And maybe we'll do an absorbency test next. <laughs> so I'm going to say that for the most part, this are going to offer you eight and they're also really versatile in how you can fold them. I think a lot of you might come to this video because you're like, well, Bailey, what, 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 what do I do with this? What do I do with this thing? Um, my answer is going to be, you can do whatever you want with it. There are a ton of folds out there and maybe I'll create my own fold videos, but when you're staring down this insert and you're like, well, what do I do, Bailey, with this two-layer daytime Nuggles insert? You can do whatever you want. So, depending on the size of your baby, might depend on how you fold it. So, a classic tri-fold, so you can take it lengthwise if you have a small baby, 
See, she's coloring on herself. And you can fold that in thirds. Fold it in thirds, and then you have an insert. See how this compares to, this is a peachy baby insert. It's about the same size as a microfiber. See? Boop. So now you've got an insert. You can then stuff this into a pocket, you can lay it on top of a pocket, you can lay it in a cover. You could even add it to an all-in-one if you wanted to and your all-in-one had the space and it would give you more absorbency. You can also fold it in half. This is a more wide diaper but it is nice and soft so it will just squish up onto baby and that's not a problem. That is okay. It would just kind of like squish up between their thighs and that's fine. Like. It doesn't matter if it's perfectly flat or it's squished, it's still going to do the job. If you wanted more absorbency at the front, you could fold it down like this, or in thirds, and this would give you a smaller insert that might work with a newborn. So that's really the benefit to any of these kind of diapers, is that you can fold it however you want to get a small enough insert or a big enough insert to fit your baby side. You're not stuck with the limitations of the size of this. You are given the options to really have whatever you want. And Nuggles does come in two sizes, a size one and a size two. And for the most part, people are gonna fold these diapers into an insert shape for their baby but it doesn't mean that you can't use them on smaller babies as... So you can't put them on your child like this. It's not always gonna work. There are gonna be limitations, but it does work for the smaller age. So some of the things that kind of suck about these is that they are harder to fold onto a baby. They are more expensive. They're significantly more expensive. Nuggles offers two sizes. They have a size one and a size two, and they have a two-ply and three-ply insert. These are 70% cotton and 30% bamboo. Anna, don't color on the walls, okay? She loves the color. She is sporting a Nuggles Tuck Wrap and Go cover. This is adorable. Also, AMP does. AMP is a Canadian company. They are hard to find in the United States. So AMP makes a red layer, three layer hemp. 55% hemp, 45% cotton, it's red. They also make, this is 70% bamboo, 30% cotton, two layer, and they also make a two layer bamboo, or a two layer hemp, hemp and organic cotton. These are really amazing quality inserts. If you're looking for hemp, AMP makes a great one. And then, Apple Cheeks also makes a few varieties. There's our two and three layers. So this is the three layer, this is the two layer. It's 70% bamboo, 30% cotton. These are the old Nuggles. These were 70% bamboo, 70% cotton, 30%, no, these were 100% cotton. Oh, I don't know anymore. You can still get these in the clearance section. I found that the size one was kind of useless, but the size two is not bad. I also have heavy wetter, so when I say that I felt that something was a tissue, it might work for you because for me, I needed a solid 8 to 10 ounces of absorbency to do anything, and I'm beginning to learn that that changes. So the other option available on the market is the Geffen Baby pre-folds. These tend to be different and weirder sizes. They are all hemp products made in the United States, but you can, again, do any kind of fold you want and put them on baby. The hemp products are going to be stiffer. The hemp products are going to wash up a little differently. I personally prefer things with a bamboo cotton blend. I just don't need hemp. I know I said that I have heavy wetters, but in my experience, a hemp insert just costs more. It doesn't necessarily add more absorbency compared to a high quality bamboo cotton blend. I don't know why we went and grabbed a woolly. I hope that answers some of your questions about rectangular inserts. I hope you give them a try. I really do think they are an amazing diaper. They are very confusing. Like you see them on the group and you're like, Wah. why? Like why not just do an insert? Well, why not do an insert? Because these offer absorbency. These offer customized sizes and these offer an easy, durable wash strategy. However, I know a lot of you are 
just trying to boost your microfiber inserts. You're not looking to replace them and I know a lot of people are on a budget. So these are not budget friendly options. I'm sorry. But we all cloth diaper for different reasons. And maybe if your reason is to use Canadian textiles or if your reason is to use the best quality products against babies, then these might be an option for you. I should just put black marker on my face. Until next time, peace out. Oh, hey guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to continue seeing great content.